So maybe a good introduction would be a little, little, what is the difference between the two? Well, I get this question a lot from people um, because they, they seem to think that if you're a fairly happy person, that you're always in a happy mood. Mm -hmm. And that's just really not true. Right. Um, people that have an overall um, happiness and an overall contentment with their life, they do have moods. We, you know, you're, you do have sadness, you do have anger, you do have all the other moods that everybody else has. You have a full range of emotions. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, is that people who are generally happy people, they have a mindset and an outlook on life that is more positive than someone who does not have a happy life. So, for example, um, and generally your moods are circumstantial. You know, mm -hmm. someone cuts you off in traffic, it makes you angry. You go through a breakup, you have a loss in your life. Then um, when that happens, mm -hmm. then you're sad. Or, you know, you're angry or, or whatever emotion that you're having. And those emotions and those moods will pass. Right. Whereas a mindset is something that's more of a general overall outlook on your life. Yes, yes. And, and, and really, you know, your, your mindset is kind of formed... But all your moods. So I mean, you have to because of that. You really need to have a way to. If you're noticing your 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 moods going downhill, you need to have some way to pick yourself back up. Right. And that was easily done for me after my car accident because I saw people with missing arms, missing legs, just like I've told on you know previous. My Positive Protective Episodes and previous television interviews. And if you ever met me at book signings, I, I'm, I'm quick to point out that, hey, life is always worth for other people. But really, one great thing you could do for your mind, for your, well, so I say for your mood, is to go out and help other people. And that can change your whole mindset. So, so maybe you can talk about how that would work. Absolutely. Um, a lot of times, especially around the holidays, you know, we're coming up right. on the holidays, and especially around the holidays, a lot of people really are sad. Um, maybe they don't have family to spend the holidays with, maybe they've gone through a breakup or some kind of a loss in their life, and a really good way to combat those sad, depressed moods is by going out and helping others. Right. Because if you can bring a little bit of happiness to other people, then it elevates your own happiness and your own mood. Mm -hmm. And so you can actually go out and volunteer and do things for other people to make yourself even happier. Mm -hmm. Well, the, I mean, my positive perspective to do this show really, um, you know, is, is trying to change people's perception mm -hmm. and make it positive. And, and kind of when, when you have these moods going downhill, you want to lift yourself back up so you stay in that positive mind frame. Right, absolutely. And as you and I have talked about before, uh, men and women can sometimes actually deal with um, adversity and, and mood and mindset very differently. Yeah. And women, we tend to seek one another out. We're um, very much, we're talkers. And, mm -hmm. you know, when we're feeling bad, we call up a girlfriend and we say, hey, this is what's going on in my life. Um, and men, sometimes they don't really have that in their lives, and they'll just internalize it and keep it inside. Mm -hmm. So it is wonderful, especially for men, to be able to go out and volunteer and do something for other people so that they can actually, um, it, you know, increase the positivity and the happiness in their lives. Right, right. And the, the whole whole mood and, and mindset, like exactly. you said. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes you simply just have to let the mood pass. When you're sad, when you're upset about something, you're having an, um, you know, a, rather, a negative emotional state. Sometimes you just go through it, you let it pass, and you come out on the other side, and you look and see what lessons you learn, mm -hmm. and then you're able to look at things in a more positive way. And apply those lessons to the to the rest of your life. Exactly. So that that really is a really is good advice, Judy. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. Well, thank you for tuning into my positive perspective. Next Tuesday will be the be your next episode, so please tune in for that. If you have any questions, feel free to log on to mypositiveperspective.com and ask me a question or ask Jenny a question. And we'll be happy to uh, talk about them on the air because whatever question or problem you're having, there's probably other people that are having the same thing. So um, thank you for watching My Positive Perspective, and we'll catch you on the next episode.
Have a great day. That it's all gonna change. Light on my feet so I don't have to fear the